Hello and welcome to English Learning. In today's video, I'm going to explain the poem The Wise Man and the Elephant from HCRT English Class 7 Textbook. So, without wasting much time, let's begin. The Wise Man and the Elephant is written by John G. Sachs. It is a poem about six men of Hindustan, that is India, who wanted to know about elephant, what it looks like, simply by touching it. Now the question comes, why they wanted to touch the elephant? Six men of Hindustan wanted to touch the elephant because all of them were blind. Now, let us see what they say about the elephant after touching it. The first man touched the side of the elephant and said, it is like a wall. The second man touched the tusk of the elephant and said, it is round, smooth and sharp, just like a spear. The third man touched the trunk of the elephant and said, it is like a snake. The fourth man touched the feet of the elephant and said, it is like a tree. The fifth man touched the ear of the elephant and said, it is like a fan. And the last man touched the tail of the elephant and said, it is like a rope. After that, all six men started arguing with each other because they had different opinion about the elephant. For the first man, elephant was like a wall, but for the remaining five men, elephant was something else. So, they didn't agree with each other. But if we look at their opinion carefully, then we will find that all of them were correct because each one of them touched a different part of the elephant and described what they felt. But when we look at the elephant, then all these six men are wrong. Why? Because elephant doesn't look like the way they described it. But we can't say that these men are wrong also. So the moral lesson of this poem is that there are many sides of truth or we can say reality. We should not think that whatever I say or feel is the only truth because there may be some people who might not agree with us. It means that there are many sides of reality. For example, in the poem itself, we see that each man had different opinion regarding the elephant and we cannot say that only the first man is correct and the rest of the others are wrong. Why? Because they said what they felt and they are correct in their opinion. But if we ask the same question about the elephant to a person who is not blind, then do you think he will agree to these six men? No, right. But can you say only this man who is not blind is right and six men are wrong? Again, the answer is no, because all of them are right in their opinion, which means in life we should not judge others for their opinion and we should learn to respect others' opinion as well. So, with this we have come to the end of the video. I really hope you understood this poem and found this video helpful. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.